different faces? Well, I mean, Lehomwe generally, we, we know that a lot of people want change. They may not subscribe to one party. I mean, they may subscribe to different parties. But I think the objective is the same. They don't think this government is working for them. You know, so they're all looking for alternatives. We are one of the alternatives, really. And what they try to tell us is that, well, you know, whatever it is, the IGIG, the government there, we should get rid of. And then bring in another government. What, whatever the government is going to be. So as like, you know, we have a common, I wouldn't say enemy, you know, but we have a common problem to solve. You know, that's the message I get from them. So do you, um, do you believe a crowd? Because uh, we had a whole discussion, come you better than a crowd, I'm a monitor. Well, you know, I mean, uh, politics is a game of numbers, really. I mean, if that is what the crowd is exhibiting, yeah, it's a game of numbers. But I know for a fact that, you know, there are a lot of voters who wouldn't come out in the States so in public support, you know, for their parties, because they have too many other things to do, you know. So, and wh whatever crowd that comes out, it's not 960,000 people, really. It's way less than that, you know. So, you know, I mean, uh, yes, crowd may give some indication, but I don't think it's conclusive. Okay, uh, Mr. Jamba. I want to have something to tell you. Mr. How, how, how is his assessment to the message that you are sharing to people? Like, how do they consume the message that you are Well, it's really resonating with them because uh, whatever message it is that we are trying to put out there is reflecting their current situation. You know, and uh, like I said before, we went around the country and they all talk about the same problem. is water, electricity, hospitals, schools, very basic things, and the rising cost of living. You know, and the, what we, the message we're trying to send across is actually preferring solutions you know, to those problems. So the message, in our opinion, is really resonating with the people. Okay, I've been following your campaign and then one of your meetings in URR, you mentioned of you know, uh, establishing uh, a farming system which will go 12 months year-round instead of six months. Um, what are some of the mechanisms that we put in place in order to achieve these goals if our uh, NUP government is put in place. Well, that is just in reaction to a recent report by FAO that said uh, only 6% of farming uh, in Africa is done using irrigation. And we know that as a country we are blessed with a river and the water is good. So what the country needs to do is to actually, you know, put in place a system that will be able to get the water from the river and irrigate the fields. Uh, we say farming in the Gambia uh, it depends on rainy season. That is because it's only during the rainy season that we have water everywhere. But we believe that we can get water even off rainy season. And farming depends on water, and we will be able to get this. So what we need to do is to I mean, invest extensively in ir ir irrigated systems, you know, for for you know just to support you know, uh, all year round farming in this country. Okay, um, that was uh, Abdullah Ibrahim.